If you have ever wondered, can I delete my photos from my phone but still keep them safely in the cloud? You're not alone. This is a question I get all the time and the answer depends on which cloud service you are using. In this video, I'll break down exactly what happens when you delete a photo on your phone, explain why Apple Photos and Google Photos are not true backups, and show you which cloud storage services actually let you delete photos from your phone while keeping them safely stored. And stick around until the end because I'll also share a bonus tip that will help you keep your photos safe even if you think you're backing up, because they might not be. Understanding the difference between syncing and backup. Before we get into the specifics, let's clear up one of the biggest misconceptions. Syncing is not the same as backing up. Apple Photos and Google Photos are syncing services, which means that they mirror what's on your phone. It's a two-way street. If you delete a photo from your phone, it will be deleted from the cloud. Gone forever. A true backup service, on the other hand, makes a copy of your photos and keeps it independent of what's on your device. It is a one-way street. A lot of videos online suggest that you can delete photos from your phone while keeping them on Google Photos or Apple Photos, but that's not actually how these services work. What happens when you delete photos in Apple Photos and Google Photos? This is where things get tricky. A lot of people assume that if their photos are in the cloud, they are safe and they can just delete them from their phone to free up space. But if you're using Apple Photos or Google Photos, that's not how it works. These are syncing services, not backup services, meaning they mirror what's on your phone across all of your connected devices. So if you delete a photo from your phone when using Apple or Google Photos, it doesn't just disappear from your phone. It's removed from the cloud as well. This is why you can't rely on these services as a true backup. Let me show you exactly what happens when you delete a photo using each one so you don't accidentally lose precious memories thinking they're still stored somewhere safe. Apple Photos If you use iCloud Photos, your photos are automatically synced across all your Apple devices. This means if you delete a photo on your iPhone, it will also be removed from iCloud and from your Mac, iPad, and any other connected devices. You might think that turning off optimized iPhone storage will prevent this, but that setting only affects how photos are stored on your phone, not on the cloud. iCloud Photos is not a backup. It's a syncing service, so if you delete something, it's gone from everywhere. Google Photos. Google Photos works the same way. If your phone is set to sync and backup, then whatever is on your phone is mirrored into Google Photos. So if you delete a photo from your phone, it will also be removed from Google Photos when it next syncs. Some videos can suggest that you can stop syncing, delete photos, and then turn syncing back on, but that's risky. If you don't download and store those photos somewhere else first, you could lose them permanently. Why you shouldn't just turn off cloud syncing. At this point, you might be thinking, okay, so if iCloud Photos deletes everything when I remove a photo from my phone, why don't I just turn off iCloud syncing, delete my photos, and then turn it back on later? Sounds like a simple workaround, but there are a few problems with this. Problem number one, no new photos will be backed up. When you turn off iCloud Photos or Backup and Sync, your device stops uploading any new photos to the cloud. This means if you take new pictures while the cloud is off, they are only stored on your phone. They are not backed up anywhere. If you lose your phone or something happens, those new photos are gone for good. Problem two, syncing direction is unpredictable when you turn syncing back on. The second issue is when you turn syncing back on, you are not guaranteed that the sync will go in the direction you want. Apple Photos and Backup and Sync is designed to sync your library across all your devices. So when you reconnect your device, it will try and match what's in the cloud. If your cloud storage has older photos that were previously deleted from your phone, turning the sync back on could result in those old photos being re-downloaded to your phone, 
which is frustrating if we're trying to free up space. Worse still, in some cases, the cloud may instead delete photos from the cloud to match what's currently on your phone, which means you could accidentally lose images you meant to keep. Problem three, confusion over remove from iPhone versus delete from iCloud. Another common mistake is when people see the option remove from iPhone and think it means they are safely deleting photos from their phone but keeping them in the cloud. But all this does is remove the local version of the photo while keeping a low resolution version on your phone that still takes up some space. And if you go ahead and delete the photo completely, it's removed from everywhere. This is why it's so important to know exactly how iCloud works before you try to manage your storage this way. If you're struggling with managing your photo collection across different devices, figuring out what's backed up and trying to keep everything organized, then you might want to check out my Photo Messed Success courses. They are designed to help you get every photo into one place, declutter your library and create a system that actually works without the stress of losing anything important. If that sounds like something you need, then you can check it out at photomessedsuccess.co.uk where I will take you from photo mess to mastery one step at a time. But for now, fear not, I am not gonna leave you high and dry. If you actually want to delete your photos from your phone but keep them safely stored in the cloud, there are still options. Cloud services that let you delete your photos from your phone but keep them in the cloud. To keep your photos safely stored, you need to use a true backup service like Dropbox or OneDrive. These services upload your photos to the cloud as independent files, meaning they are not linked to what's on your phone. Dropbox. In Dropbox, photos are uploaded to a folder called Camera Uploads. Once the photo is uploaded, it becomes a separate file that isn't synced with your phone. That means you can delete the photo from your phone, but it will still exist in your Dropbox account. Open Dropbox and go to your account, then Settings, and make sure Camera Uploads is turned on in the settings. Wait for the photos to fully upload. Once uploaded, you can safely delete the photos from your phone and it will still remain in Dropbox. Just be careful, if you move photos out of Camera Uploads folder into a different Dropbox folder, they may stop backing up automatically. OneDrive. OneDrive works in a very similar way. If you enable Camera Uploads, your photos are backed up to your OneDrive account. Open OneDrive and go to Settings and Camera Uploads. Make sure your photos are set to upload automatically. Wait for the upload to finish and then you can delete the photos from your phone. Go to the OneDrive app or your web browser and you'll still see all your photos safely stored in the cloud. The key thing about OneDrive and Dropbox is that they don't remove photos if you delete them from your phone. That makes them great options for anyone who wants to free up space while keeping their photos safe and accessible. Bonus tip, always keep a local backup in case of cloud issues. Even if you're using Dropbox or OneDrive as a backup, never rely on just one place to store your precious photos. Cloud services can fail, accounts can get hacked, and sometimes files just go missing. I always recommend using the three, two, one backup rule. Have three copies of your photos across two different storage locations. So a cloud and an external backup with one being off-site, so another cloud service or a separate drive stored elsewhere. A great way to do this is by saving your photos on an external hard drive or using a second backup service like Backblaze as an additional layer of backup. That way, even if something happens to your cloud account, your memories are still safe. That's the truth about deleting photos from your phone while keeping them in the cloud. But what if you want to have a good old declutter of your photos to save some space? Then check out this video next. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.